So hello Duelists and welcome back to the original Duel Monsters campaign of Legacy of the Duelists Link Evolution. And today we are going to be continuing with the third chapter which is going to involve a duel against Weevil Underwood or also known as Insect Haga in the Japanese version of the anime. So of course we'll be using the story deck as usual and we will probably be facing off against the ultimate great orc, great moth in this match so hopefully Weevil will be able to summon it so we'll be able to take it down ourselves and he's gonna get to decide who goes first in this match so he's going second, we'll go first okay this looks like a very basic retro deck it's not the best of hands we're starting with Polymerization, so let's see what our fusion options are first. So, just Gaia the Dragon Champion, and we don't have any parts for that. And Mammoth Graveyard isn't a very good monster to start with. Okay, well, let's start with Wasteland. We have Monster Reborn just in case, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and... Just summon Mammoth Graveyard first, it'll go up to 1.4k with the Field spell. And I'm not going to use Horn of the Unicorn because I'd rather save it for a monster that has higher base stats, basically. Map of Graveyard is like kind of a waste with just 1.2k. Pot of Greed? <laughs> That's unfair. I wonder if I have that in my deck as well. Wait. Dude, man, they didn't have Howling Insect back then. That's crazy. And he's getting out Hercules Beetle. Not bad, a level 5 monster, making good use of the effect I guess. Hopefully we get something that's strong enough to beat there. Come on, drop! Uh... I actually, I'm actually not going to play anything. Come on Weevil. I'll wait until I, I'll just take a few hits, wait until I draw my next monster and see what it can do for me. Because I don't really want to waste the cards I have now on like Map of Graveyard, which is like my only option. I have 5.2k life left. I mean. Oh man, come on! If they destroy them. I don't really want this. Okay, he can do 2.7 to me. I don't believe he can get a third additional monster that will be able to defeat me this turn. So I'm just gonna end my turn again and just hope for a monster in the next turn. Come on, summon your third insect. And here we have another weak one, big insect. <laughs> Battle phase. Ugh! This is gonna sting. And in that, I'll only have 1.3k life left. Okay. Come on! Destiny draw! Give me a monster! Do you really expect me to win this with Mammoth Graveyard? Well, it looks like I've got no choice. I activate Monster Reincarnation. And I'll discard Burning Land. I don't really want that now. And I'll have to bring back Mammoth Graveyard. And let's go! Mammoth Graveyard. And I'll use Horn of the Unicorn. To boost Graveyard to 2.1k. Hmm. Alright. And then I'll just yeah defeat his Hercules Beetle since it's the strongest now. I wonder If I'm not wrong in the anime at this point Weevil only has Great Moth and he doesn't have what was that? Insect Queen yet? Or I could be wrong, I could be remembering it wrongly. But it doesn't look like he's got a tribute monster anyway, so it looks like I'm still safe. Man, Beaver Warrior is gonna suck. Do I boost off Beast Warriors? No, I don't. <laughs> I'll just put this as like extra protection. This deck is terrible. And I think it's safe to just destroy the monsters on his side first. Because I believe for him to get great morph like the larva or the pupa needs to be face up to needs to be face up. So if it's face down like that, it's not gonna grow up, so to speak. Oh man, man eater bug! Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, and I guess that get goes to the top of my deck. Fortunately, a uh, beaver warrior can take this. 
So I'm still in quite a safe position. And oh man, another Howling Insect. That's gonna give him another strong monster. 1,500 or less attack, huh? Man, what do they expect me to do? Oh, that's really not that great of a situation. I don't want to waste a Monster Reborn on like the stuff I currently have. I'm gonna stick to using Horn of the Unicorn on Beaver Warrior first. And I guess I'll just smash Man Eater Buck. Give him some damage. He might uh, crash into me if Howling Insect the next turn though, just to get the surge. But if it's 1500 or less attack, there shouldn't be anything he can use to defeat my Beaver Warrior. Yet. Let's see what he does, but it looks like he doesn't have any uh, tribute monsters either. So we're back to the same situation again. I really need some good monsters in my hand. Come on! Uh, Silver Fang? It's not Dinosaur, Zombie or Rock. It's literally only 1000. This is even worse than Beaver Warrior. If I summon it in attack position, it's just gonna... Well, even if the neck, even if his uh, face down is another man eater bug, there's nothing much I can do about it. I don't want to attack it yet. I'll clear the rest of his monsters without touching Howling Insect first, and I'll pray for an even better monster on the next turn. Let's go. Oh, another man eater bug. I mean, I swear in the anime he didn't have man eater bug. Wait, did he? I always thought it was like. Was it you? What's going on? Oh, his Her Hercules Beetle. Wait, th this might be a problem. Oh no! Dude, I literally only have 100 life left. Is, is Kuribo gonna save me? Should I? Okay, I, I, think, I think I better. I think I better. <sighs> Man. And then Horn of the Unicorn comes back and restricts my plays again. Because I can't draw into a monster. And now I have no choice but to play Monster Reborn. It's not sent to my graveyard though, so I can't benefit off of that. I guess I'll just take his Hercules Beetle. And really hope that there's no way for him to smash it. It makes sense that he'll have... He'll probably have 3 Man Eater bugs, so I guess there's one more threat. But his deck is 25 cards left, so I think it's unlikely that he has it in his hand or will draw it anytime soon. Can't believe like I'm on the ropes against Weevil Underwood, man. <sighs> so, I'm so wary of face downs now, and now he's set. It's probably a trap, I believe. He's not even playing his Great Moth at all. Uh... Okay, I guess this isn't bad. Now what I want to do with this is... Kill Howling Insect first. Because now that I have a second follow-up attack, I can immediately use my new Hercules Beetle to smash whatever's on the left. And... Well, I mean... Well, let's see what his face down is. Hopefully it's not another man eater bar. I don't think it is. Okay, great. Okay, great. That means the one in the middle is definitely not man eater bar. Monster? Okay. I think this is a good idea. I'll get Curse of Dragon now. And even if he has one more man eater bug, he can only choose one of my options to destroy. And I'll still have a strong monster with more than 2,000 attack. And oh, basic insect. That's actually one of my favorite retro cards. Resonance insect. A level 5 or higher insect type. Oh, he added Great Moth to his hand. But I mean, I don't think it'll be that useful in this current situation. The story deck really sucks for this one though. Terraforming. Forest. Okay. But that's not going to be much of a threat. And in fact, 
Because I Monster Reborn Hercules Beetle, if he sets Forest, it'll actually benefit. Do I do it? I do it! <laughs> I activate the magic card! Polymerization! And I fuse Gaia the Fierce Knight from my hand with Curse of Dragon on my field! Activate! Fusion Summon! Gaia the Dragon Champion! In attack position! Oh! Oh, I forgot it's the new format. I have to place it in the extra monster zone. Okay. And Hercules Beetle attacks Weevil's face down. Come on, Kiri, man. And with Gaia the Dragon Champion, I'll inflict 2.6k. And I guess I'm in a good position to win next turn. And it's pretty cool. I get to win with my so-called ace monster for this duel. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see Weevil show off uh, Insect insect Queen. I mean, well, not Insect Queen, a Great Moth, I mean. But I don't think I have anything well equipped in my deck to defeat it right now. So I think I'm just gonna go for this and end the duel right here. I mean, this duel has stretched on for long enough already anyway. And with Gaia Dragon, Gaia the Dragon Champion, I direct attack! And that's it for my victory. Skip the story, I think most of you guys would already know. Oh, looks like the next match is against uh, Mai. We also unlock the reverse duel where we get to use the Great Moth. Moth Evolution deck recipe, Mai Valentine Booster Pack, Cocoon of Evolution, Howling Insect, and Great Moth. Not Ultimate Great... Wait. Oh, he, he, put, uh, he searched for Ultimate Great Moth with Resonant Insect just now, so it is in his deck. So our next duel, very nice, it looks like we won't just be playing with uh, Yugi in this DM campaign. So in the next duel, we can move on to uh, using Jonochi's deck against Mai's Harpy Lady. I, I just can't win in Scissors Paper Stone. <laughs> or Rock Paper Scissors as... Many of you guys may call it Raigeki, that's nice. This is not a bad hand. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not summoning Flame Manip. Actually, I'm gonna start off a bit defensive and put start with Flame Manipulator, just to see what her first move is gonna be. Some nice music for this match. Mountain. Or all her Harpies are Wing Beasts. Dude, Battlestorm? Dude, this card is like 5D's era stuff. Ouch, that is strong. Do I tie wizard? <laughs> I have a few options. Gaia power. All Earth monsters by 500. Battlestorm is dark. So I actually think that's a pretty nice option I have for now. And I have a monster reborn as a backup in case she somehow manages to defeat uh, Battle Ops anyway. So Gaia Power will increase the strength of my Battle Ops. And I'll be able to defeat Battlestorm with it. Icarus Attack! Alright. So well, she has to sacrifice her monster as well. So that kind of evens things out. And I will guess I'll just end my turn. It's a bit of a shame that she managed to destroy Gaia power though, because if I'm not wrong, most of our harpies are wind attribute. Yeah. And she Wow, she has the all the new harpies. And a direct attack from Harpy Dancer. Not bad. If I'm not wrong, Mai should have quite an interesting and powerful combination of traps, I guess. Now the question is, what should I do in this situation? I mean, I, I guess I might as well take Battlestorm. 1,700 and it benefits from her effect as well. I'll do that. Root Kaiser is kind of a bad card. Oh man, Icarus attack again. But I mean, that's just sacrificing. Oh, and she has to sacrifice her mountain as well. So that has really reset the field, and I think I have slightly better advantage. So that's not too bad. Oh, another mountain. Quite back and forth though, I kind of like the dynamic that this duel is beginning with. And Harpy Channeler... Uh, 
You can discard a harpy to special summon a harpy from your deck and face up defense. I want to get rid of that really fast. Okay, that's great. I activate Pot of Greed, which is banned, supposed to be banned. And now I've got a good uh, choice of cards to use. And now I'll get up X Raider. And with X Raider, I attack Harpy Channel. X Blade! And I think that pretty much settled this, settles this duel. We finally got past the starting battle of attrition and it shouldn't be much of a problem now. Nice, another Gaia Power. This is really going to contribute to my field. With Gaia Power activated, I can also summon Tiger X. And now I'll just rush her down with some massive damage. It's going to be 4k by itself. So if she doesn't if she doesn't get any monster the next turn, I can basically end it on the next turn. That's a nice and fast duel, which I believe the original duel should be. In fact, I should just check how much time has passed. Yeah, I think I actually have time to include a third duel in this episode. G spell. Oh man, that's a shame. But it looks like I made it to. Oh wait. Now I don't have enough power, but I got Graceful Charity. It'll give me three draws. Yes, very nice. And now I can discard some stuff I don't want. Definitely not gonna need Time Wizard at this point. I normal summon Battle Ox. And I've basically won. Attack with Tiger X. Attack with X Raider. And I'll finish her off with Battlelogs! I direct attack! And that's it for this duel. Fast and simple as the early duel should be. Our next one is going to be against the guy Fortress Whale. I forgot his name. Harpy Lady, Reverse Duel, My Valentine. Harpy Lady deck, Harpy Lady, Takuhi, Icarus attack, and some DP. So moving on to the next duel, we'll play as Yugi against... What was his name again? I think it's Maki, if I'm not wrong. Attack from the Deep. Yeah, so we do have time, so I'll move on into my third duel for this episode. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I don't really want my episodes to go past 30 minutes. Ooh. Mako, I mean. Mako Tsunami, and I'll go second. I won that draw. It'll be nice to see Fortress Wheel though. That was like... I love Fortress Whale back in the day, like just the whole design on the card, even though I wasn't much of a fan of like ritual monsters in general, because uh, using ritual cards and all that. Oh man, Umi! But at least it's not the legendary ocean. It decreases the levels as well, which makes this like level 5 more. Dude, he didn't he didn't have this card in the past, man, I swear. Kuribo? Uh not an impressive hand. I summon Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. <laughs> and I activate Horn of the Unicorn. Like, Horn of the Unicorn is like this really iffy retro card that I'm not too sure what to feel about. Like, it, don't get me wrong, I do like it. Like, I really like playing it in Duel Links, especially because the 700 attack and defense boost of one magic equipped card is just really good. But the problem with that is that when they manage to destroy it, it kind of like prevents you from accessing new res resources from the deck because it goes on to the top of your deck and I don't really like how it it reacts like that. And here we have Polymerization for more Gaia the Dragon Champion I see. And I guess I'm just, I'm willing to take some damage so... I mean this is retro style man. That's gonna go all out for it. And <laughs> This one's gonna be a weak monster, and Feral Imp will inflict some damage and start cutting down the time of this duel. I end my turn! Oh, have you guys have like, have you guys seen this uh, video of this like, a Japanese Yugi tuber on Twitter where he basically posted a video of himself playing a uh, Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution and he was basically f playing like, I think one of the 5 Beast campaign duels where he played as uh, Yusei against Jack and then he was like trying to simulate an actual riding duel so he was on a, what are those things called like, an exercise bike, like the kind where you just keep in your home and you cycle on it and it doesn't actually move like a stationary exercise bike. And he was like, Riding Duel, Acceleration, 
It's my turn! I draw! And then like throughout the entire duel, he's just cycling on the exercise bike. It's like just the most amazing thing ever. Like, I think I'll leave a link about... If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to the tweet and uh, the video description down below so you guys can check it out. It was just so amazing. I just love it when people like try to embody and like emulate Yu-Gi-Oh! sort of like that. Hmm. Hmm. I'll take it. It's a bit unfortunate that Fortress Wheel doesn't have an animation though. That goes back. <sighs> yep. And I guess... I don't really have to think too much about this. I'll give Horn of the Unicorn to Feral Im. And now I'll give it a second horn. And with two horn of the unicorns, Feral In becomes Feral Devil. And I attack Fortress Whale. He's like, what? I just, I, I like, I even forgot to attack with my Beaver Warrior, man. That's how, that's how chill these like original duels are. Now he's only got one card in his hand. <laughs> he's just gonna end his turn. Oh, I think I won. Okay, that's good then. This duel didn't take too long. I think, well, uh, I apologize if this episode took more than 30 minutes, but I don't think I overshot by that much. And with that, that's the end of the duel. And I'm gonna skip this. Dinosaurs next. Legendary Ocean deck recipe, that's quite nice. Oh, that's quite cool. Like, his challenge deck is actually a Gishki ritual deck, which fits him so well. That's actually a really interesting, like, play on his deck. And we got the Bakura Booster Pack, Legendary Fisherman, Kairushin, Torrential Tribute is nice. And that will be all our rewards for this duel. And I think that will be all for this episode. For now, at the, ends of, at the end of the episodes, I'm not going to go and buy new packs from the shop. I'm just going to um, uh, accumulate the duelist points. And I'll probably have standalone episodes where I just buy a ton of packs at, one, at once. Sort of like a booster box opening. So that will be all for this episode. Do like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And subscribe for more episodes of Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Share it, declare it, tell me Can you see? I drift in darkness in search of memories I